Hello again. Now, I know that I have covered this topic before, but yesterday a number of people seemed eager to talk about Zionism and its supposed effect upon British society. The simple fact is that Zionism has no influence at all in this country. It is nothing at all to do with Britain and concerns only the national identity of the Israeli people. I think that the confusion arises because some people use the word Zionist to refer to Jews in general and they think that Zionism is some sort of sinister conspiracy which entails ownership of news media and political influence on Western governments. None of this has anything at all to do with Zionism. Both Italy and Germany were created in the 19th century by joining together smaller states and melding them into one nation. After the end of the First World War, the same thing happened in the Balkans with countries like Bosnia-Herzegovina and Montenegro. They were all joined up and made into a new country called Yugoslavia. At about the same time, a country called Jordan was created in the Middle East, and after the end of the Second World War, other new countries were created in just the same way. Countries like Pakistan and Israel. I'm sorry for the history lesson, but I'm afraid that it's necessary. Pakistan was created, and many Muslims entered the country after leaving India. They displaced the Hindus who had been living in that area in what we call an exchange of populations. That is to say, the Muslims entered into that territory, now called Pakistan, and the Hindus left it and went into the country called India. This was in 1947, and there were an awful lot of Hindu and Muslim refugees that year. The following year, the same thing happened in the Middle East. A new state called Israel was created and many Arabs left that territory and moved to neighbouring countries. At the same time, many Jews from Arab countries, such as Morocco, Egypt and Yemen, moved in the opposite direction and made their homes in Israel. This process was precisely similar to what happened with the creation of Pakistan. It was an exchange of populations. Those who believe that just as the Pakistanis have a right to their own country called Pakistan, regardless of the terrible events in 1947, so too do Israelis have a right to their own country called Israel. Those people who believe that are known as Zionists. That, in a nutshell, is what Zionism is. Support for the right of Israelis in their own country to their own country, and also incidentally for the right of Jews in the rest of the world to travel to Israel and become Israelis. There is no more to it than that. This of course has nothing at all to do with how many Jews own or work for newspapers and television stations in the United States, nor with whether the British Prime Minister has Jewish ancestors or not. Those things may be interesting, and I've also discussed them before, both on this channel, in the past, but they are nothing at all to do with Zionism. Zionism is purely concerned with Israel. Because the British Army occupied Israel before it became an independent state, there was an armed struggle, and terrible things were done by both sides, that is to say both by the British and by the Israelis or the Jews living in Israel. There were massacres and acts of terrorism. This was very common in the years following the end of the Second World War all over the world. I think the problem here is that some people who comment on this channel believe that there is a widespread Jewish conspiracy to take over the world. I don't personally think that this is so. But even if it were, it would be nothing at all to do with Zionism. I think it is this misunderstanding which has caused people to get muddled up about Zionism and view those supporting this ideology 
as being mixed up in a plot, for example, to promote non-white immigration to Europe. It is quite true, and undeniably so, that some individual Jews and Israelis are and have been keen on such plans. But again, this is nothing at all to do with Zionism. For my own part, I acknowledge the right of Nigerians to their own country called Nigeria, even though there have been dreadful massacres and ethnic cleansing there in the past, most notably, of course, during the Biafran War. I also believe that Italians have a right to their own country. Despite the wars fought to achieve unification of the nation in the 19th century and the horrible acts of and atrocities that were committed at that time. In just the same way, I think that Israelis have a right to their country of Israel, even though there have been massacres and terrorism in that country as well. That is why I am a Zionist. I might point out <laughs> for the first time that although I spent some years in Israel, I am not Jewish. Although, of course, I've realised that some people will now remark on the size of my nose and suggest that this is an infallible sign of my true ethnicity.